Hey guys, Mop here. So I've had a few folks ask me, how do you play Candyland, Mop? And since it's on this week's like leaderboard, the weekly leaderboard, here's how I play Candyland and some of my favorite cheers. Come on, dance with me. All right, here we go. We are playing Candyland, hole one. So uh, I go a little bit on inside the tip here and usually do like 72 and a little bit extra. So I can like bump off the side and just kind of roll in there. Just like that. And that was the spider cheer. I like that one, the scattery spiders. They're funny. But all right, oh yeah, hey, only one with the hole in one. That's right, my one. All right, hole two, here we go. So I kind of go in to that first like end corner, dark where it hits that corner piece. 71-ish, usually five or six, something like that, but whoop, yep, hole in one, ego. I like Candyland, I play this map a lot. It makes me want to eat candy though. So, all right, so yeah, oh, I got a good spawn this time, so I go right inside the tip, 100. Sometimes I spawn on the outside and I hit that goo and there's nothing I can do. But I had a good spawn this one, so I got an ego. Ego! And would they have the music too? I like that one. With that little, oh, was it the piano? I don't know, I got that one in there too. We'll see if it comes up. Alright, so this one I go right inside that little blue candy thing. Closer to the wall. Oh, I missed it, but hey -o. Most of the time I end up lucky. Didn't get close to the hole, but it's still good enough, so I can go into... But I do five power. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna do thirty-ish. At twelve blocks, I would I do over thirty, like thirty point two at least. But I try to do like five power for the first five blocks and then like three for the next ones after that. But alright, so for this one I aim at that flag on the left there when the walls are open. If I aim right, sometimes I go over the hole and it'll come straight back and in for the hole in one. But I didn't do that. But it's still a boydy. No, oh, somebody got a hole in one. Oh, and there's the end. Everybody's always asking. They want to see the end, or what do you trade for the end, Mop? I won't trade anything for it. Somebody gave it to me when they were, like, 14. So I will never trade it. But, oh, yeah, so I struggle with this one sometimes. I go that bottom tip of that second block from the corner, 100, but it's got to be when that wall is over there to the left. So, oh, hey, oh, hey, I had it good that time. Sometimes I spawn over to the right too much, and I miss it. Sometimes if I get it far enough, I can miss that corner on the bounce back and get the hole in one, but I'm happy with the albatross. And what's that, the idle switch? I got that cheer for winning temple, I think. <coughs> oh yeah, so for this one, I go 100 and it's right at that to the square before the tip when that red candy is down. And in there. Ooh, my best time even. I line that one up pretty quick. Sometimes I hesitate and I, you know, second guess myself. Should I, should I, should I, should I? But I should just do it. All right, here we go. This one's tough because you got, it looks like you're gonna hit that brown wall corner piece, but you just gotta trust that you're flying over because you're ramped up and you're not gonna hit it. And in there, like butt air. <laughs> I know I'm a silly girl. And I get a lot of that. Jeez, oh, Mop, why do you play this game? You win all the time, isn't it boring? But it's not. I mean, with the spawns, they change. It makes it difficult. And you know, when people ask how I hold on one, I tell them. 
they got to learn to aim themselves, or if they watch me, they can see I got my little trail paw print on, so it shows them right exactly the path I took. Come off the corner, the tip here, just on the inside, and I'm wait for that little jelly to get out the way. And oh, I'm going to just land on the edge, and that is just heartbreaking. But hey, I still got a boydie. And I'm pretty sure... I don't think anybody else is gonna get anything. Yeah, no. This is a random room. I gotta do the 98. 98.1 usually. Or sometimes it'll hang up. Or the 97.9. If you're way over to the left, you gotta do the 97.9. If you're more into the middle, you gotta do 98.1. 98 sometimes works. See, somebody's asking me. And I'll tell them what I did. Yeah. If people ask me, I will tell them the powers. I'll even sometimes tell them, try and tell them the aims, but it's difficult to explain that part. And a lot of times I will use things in the background to help me remember the aims, you know, like the corner of a jelly or something like that, but they have been changing some of the backgrounds. At least they do in, um, the cyber. They change, like, some of the, the lights, but I guess it's, you know, with the little swirly things. But alright, nope, I got a good spawn so I can get the tip on this one. Right on the inside tip, Ooh. Yeah, again! Can I just hair lift everything, Chief Luis? But oh, there's the disco dance! Not a lot of people have that cheer. I think the end is finally upwards of like 446 people have it, I think. But Disco, I think, is still under like 150. But let's check out. So here's how you change the cheers. People are always like, how do you shuffle your cheers? Well, if you go to shuffle cheers, you can turn them off and on there. And you can like pick whatever cheers that you want. All the hearted ones. I have my favorite. Shuffling only my favorite. So we can see the end. I do so like it. I mean, it gets annoying if you get multiple people in the room. It, 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 it will take up some time because it's like a three second explosion. But alrighty. Next hole, what hole are we at? Okay, we're 12. Oh yeah, so I go off the inside tip on this one. I play this one a couple different ways depending on, you know, my spawn and how I end up. But I'll either go off the ramp and off the tip or I'll go off the edge and skip the, the tip or the edge. But I do my 61, a low 61. It's gonna bounce back and you gotta watch that little moving floor thing and I barely do over 34 because you'll roll right over the hole because there's a downhill slope there. You can condor, condor it if you land way over on the right of the ramp and you can like bounce off the jelly and over. I haven't been able to do it since the update, but it is possible. But I haven't really practiced much since the update. I do like this hole. I kind of got to time that thing, and you got to zoom all the way out so you can see it. But there's a little dark spot. See on the corner, that's where I aim. Sometimes I think there's markers. Cause it's funny, cause right where I aim, there will be some kind of mark. Just gotta wait for the double hole to come down. And oh, again, I roll over the damn thing. Should have did 83.3, but I did five and rolled over it. But if you don't do over 83, you won't hit that brown corner that you need to bounce in. Oh, that's the end. You know what I mean? It's a long explosion. It's a long cheer. And then you gotta couple it with that wall. But all right, let's see another one of my favorite cheers, a disco dance. Oh, 151 existed at the time. We'll see that after the next hole. Well, when I make it. 
14. Now sometimes I can hole in one this one, but I don't know what I did here. Oh, it looks like I'm too close on the inside. Okay, oh yeah, a little farther out than I need to be. I'm gonna go off of that blue jelly and down the wall. Okay, it's a fun bouncy bounce. Boingy boingy. We'll use this time to say, hey, don't forget to subscribe to my plays if you don't. Yeah, I haven't made videos in a while. We've been out doing stuff. Kayaking, camping, you know, stuff. But, oh, there's the disco dance. I do so love that cheer. It's a good song. I wish I continued to play the music. Oh, a lot of leavers and joiners. Or maybe people practicing. So I go right there where the um, that light spot between those two corners. And I do like 43.8. Kind of come off the wall and see it's got that moving platform so it's going to push you to the right. So I aim way to the left. Oh, I bounced off the tip so I got to do a little more. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. There. But the disco dance cheer makes me smile. Alright, here we go. So this one, I usually, I see that far, far tip and I do over 90. Again, since I'm going uphill, it's going to go more to the right, so I'm going to aim to the left some. I'm just doing barely over 50. Because you will roll over the hole. And I swirled it in there. Could have went a little more to the left. Wouldn't have been so fancy. But we see the disco dance. But this is the hole that helped me learn how to judge powers uphill. Alright, so now this one is being jerky because they're moving all at different speeds, different rates. Usually those two are moving together and the one by itself. But that's alright because this side you can get up there still. You just gotta 100 it. And wait for that chocolate bar to move. Whoa, and the bounce all over! But still good for my ego. And my ego. But there is a way to albatross that. You can like shoot up the middle. Again, I haven't done it since the update because I haven't taken the time to practice it. But since this map's on the weekly and folks have been asking me, you know, how you do that? How you do that? So I said I'll put out a new video so you can see. Yeah, I messed up at old birdie this one. I think I went too far to the left. Gotta make it rocking on the ramp and then it'll shoot out more toward the middle. But hey, I was far enough nobody was gonna catch me anyway. But yeah, so that's how I play the Candyland map. I hope it helps. Good game, good going, whatever you say afterward. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll be putting out another video soon. We've just been doing too much stuff. Me and my girls. But again, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.